Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's workout. This week, I'm just going to show you the manhammer portion of my workout. If you're unfamiliar, this is the manhammer. This is the world's first hammer that you can add regular weights to. It's an idea I had out of college and I patented. So it works like a barbell or a circus dumbbell and it uses Olympic weights. I'm beginning today's workout with some air swings. I'm trying to take this tool, this piece of equipment, through space and I'm trying to use my body in specific patterns. The general flow was as follows. I went from midline swings to uppercuts to crosses to overhead swings. This loose design was so that I could activate my spine, then warm up my shoulders, and then get my overhead position opened up and ready to go. After a good warm-up, I like to hop right into my heaviest stuff. Now this is a personal philosophy. This is the way I would work out if I was using a regular barbell. And you are welcome to do what works for you and what matches your goals. We're not here to tell you how to work out. We're just here to show you the manhammer. While we were talking, I went ahead and loaded the manhammer to 80 pounds. The manhammer swing starts with a balanced foot position. You gotta have control over moving your, your balance from your front foot to your back foot to your front foot. You gotta be mindful when you're swinging the manhammer that this is unilateral. So some muscles are pulling while some muscles are pushing. Some muscles are driving and some are trying to counterbalance all to make this move possible. This move and the manhammer in general is a hell of a core workout because the entire thing relies on your ability to create stability in your core and your abs. It's a hell of a way to train your core. To train good spine position. All while getting your cardio workout in. The funny thing to me is how my left side sucks so much more than my right side. My right side I feel like I can stroke the hammer and deliver power all the way through. The left side still I feel a little bit funky with. The fucked up part is I'm left handed. I make it through but it's ugly. And I don't recommend this at home. I recommend you practice good form. I'm going to continue to work on mine and figure out how to train my left side and my left shoulder to do this move a lot prettier. I'm going to continue this workout focusing on my shoulders. I'm going to add a little more weight and I'm going to choke press next. The choke press is a unique uh, lift that you can do with the man hammer. It's something that we came up with and uh, it has a lot of benefit in your shoulder, your arms, your upper body, your thoracic spine, your core, your grip. This move you gotta balance the idea of driving with the idea of controlling the weight. You use the handle and you create tension between your two hands to create stability. This makes a lot of muscles flex at once. If you've never done any type of move like this, I would try doing this with just the hammer by itself. That way you will lower your chance of injuring yourself. And I try and press mostly with the hand that I'm driving with and the hand underneath I'm really just trying to stabilize with. Obviously there's a point when your driving hand wears out that you can use that hand underneath to continue to move the weight forward. And hey, that's on you. Some people are super strict on form. I'm a little bit more loosey-goosey with it. I, I like the idea of moving weight and being dynamic with the way that my body can move. 
It's the style of working out that I choose to do. I want to finish with some lofty air swings to loosen the spine back up. I just put a heavy load on it for two sets and I want to finish this Manhammer session nice and loose and feeling mobile. I'm calling this one a midline swing. I'm keeping it right at that uh, area at your hips where you're your strongest. I'm just rolling my shoulders back and forth around my spine. I'm trying to keep a, a nice stable position with my arms. I'm adding a little more shoulder movement to it now, just moving them up and down. But all in all, I walk away feeling great. And I won't be all stiff and jammed up tomorrow. I'll be ready to roll again.